Welcome to the Messages of Hope with me, Fatima Ghoul. And today I'm going to be talking about the word and breaking down the word confidence. The conversation is going to be about having confidence to get over the walls of your circumstances in life. And when I looked at the word confidence, I said, this is a great one to be inside of the theme and to finish off the theme of renew and rebirth. It leads us to confidence. All those previous words, renew, start, trust, leads us to confidence, building up that confidence. And confidence means a feeling, a reassured of your own abilities, value, and worth. Being reassured of your own abilities, value, and worth. That is a feeling of confidence. You walk upright and you are loving life. And so when we look at that inside of the the theme of renewing and rebirth, we want to be the C, which is conquer, overcoming all obstacles to get over the wall. And when we are at the top of the rungs of the ladder and we are looking over and see that we've conquered that mountain, we've conquered those obstacles, we've overcome the feelings, desire, and we are now standing in confidence. So the C is to conquer. Let's conquer. Yes. And how are we going to operate inside of that confidence? What do you think the O is? Yes. The O is operate to be in action so as to produce an effect. If we are in action, if we are looking at how do we start the day, how are we reflecting, how are we trusting, how are we renewing our mind, our body, our spirit, and having that rebirth, how are we operating inside of that to gain that confidence? I want you right now to stop and look down below, and I want you to click on the subscribe Click on the like and put a a comment in the comment field and talk about how are you operating? What actions are you taking to build up that confidence inside of the season of rebirthing and renewing? Because you know what? There's the N in confidence. And we can't talk about confidence without talking about the N. So the N word is negativity. We have a tendency sometimes to be beaten down, disagreeable and skeptical, and it forms a negative mindset. And I know when I'm going down that rabbit hole of negativity, I have to put a pause and put on that break, put on some music, get around people who lift me up, share what I'm going through to come out of that space and start walking in my confidence again. So we can't talk about confidence without talking about the N-word negativity. Recognize it. Recognize it. Because then that leads you to the F. And that is fearless, without fear, bold and brave. When you are walking in confidence, you are fearless. You are bold. You are brave. You exude that confidence. Yes, sir, we Bob. And inside of this renewing, it breeds confidence. Hundred percent. And when you are confident, you are the I, independent, free from outside control, not depending on another's authority, not depending on somebody else to validate who you are. You are strong. You are dependent. You are free from control, mind, body, spirit, soul. You are now able to embrace this new space that you are walking in, this newness, this renewed, this renewed vitality, this renewed vigor, and you are so happy. This is what a message of hope is doing for people. It's getting them to that place because then you know what? We know that we are the D. We have defeated all those negative thoughts, all those negative people, all the people who drain the energy from us. We are now victorious. We are now have victory over. We can say, yes, we have won that game and we are walking in confidence. We defeated the negative thoughts. We've 
gotten rid of the negative nannies and we are in a space where we are walking in our truth. Our foundation is laid. The trust is there. The faith is there. The belief is there. And we are walking upright. We're defeating those old thoughts and habits because when we defeat them, we now can be the E. We can now evoke to make someone remember a good and positive emotion. We can evoke that. We can pull that out. Pull out those good emotions. Pull out the happiness. Pull out the smile. And if you can see, I am breaking, I'm also breaking down and using all the words that I've used throughout the month. I'm tying them all in because we want to evoke those good emotions. We want to drink that good drink. We want to feel good about ourselves and we want to keep remembering. And so now inside of confidence, we come to the end. We come to the new, not existing before discovered recently or now for the first time. Now for the first time I've discovered being renewed, being rebirth. I am now discovering my confidence newly. It's new for me. It's like, wow, where has it been all this time? Do you get excited by confidence? And then when you get to that newness, you want to be the C. You want to continue to make happen, be in, have it be an existing, do something or cause someone to do something over and over and over again. You want to continue to be in a place where you can get over the wall. You can recognize the negative thoughts. You can now elevate yourself, pull yourself up, walk with your head held head hell high, head hell high and be in confidence and smile and have that new energy that people just want to go, what do you got? I want some, I want to touch that. That's confidence. And you want to continue that. And then once you get there and you've got that rhythm going, you are the E, you have established, start something that will last a long time. You want to establish that confidence. You want to establish that new, that newness, that rebirth. You want to have it entrenched in everything, infused, imbued, just oozing out from every part of you, person, place, or thing, mind, body, spirit, and soul. You want to have that confidence established. So when we look at the word for this month, the word for this month was confidence. And when we look at confidence, we want to really be inside of getting over the walls of our life with every circumstance. We want to do that with confidence. So the words this month, the renew, the start, the trust, those are words that are inside of this season of change. This is a season of change. And I'm so glad I was able to come on and share these words with you. So next month is a new theme. And the theme for next month is authenticity and vulnerability. And I'm going to be breaking down the words accept, courage, hell, comfort, and forgive. So I want to thank you all for joining me today. And I'm sure that we are going to confidently move forward through every season of our life. And so I just want to thank you and want to wish you a blessed and super fantabulous day. Bye now.